Okay, so I had promised that I was going to do a like full just chat through of like the pros and cons of the resort. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. So hopefully you enjoyed the little vlog, but just wanted to um, give my personal opinion about some of the highs and lows of the resort if you do decide to go there. Um, so first of all, the, um, as I mentioned, or as it's said in the title of the video, this is Secret St. James. Um, that's the resort that my husband and I went to. We'd actually been to Secret's Wild Orchid before, which is directly next to Secret St. St. James. Um, essentially, they're the same resort, so just note that if you do choose one or the other, they're right next to each other, so you're gonna get the same um, similar experience, same scenery, all that. So um, next to that resort is, next to Secret St. James is um, Breathless, which is also part of, um, like, it's not part of Secrets, but Secrets and Breathless and Dreams. There's like a bunch of different resorts that's under, and I, were, I can't remember, but I, I'll put the name on the screen. I think it's like AMR something resorts. It's just like a big branch of different resorts. But anyway, so it kind of gives you the layout of like how the resorts are laid out on the actual um, island there. Um, first of all, super close. It's only 15 minutes. If you do go to any three of those resorts, it's only 15 minutes from the airport, uh, from the Montego Bay airport. So it's very quick to get there, which is very nice, especially, um, we're from the East coast from the Maryland area. So especially after like a four hour flight, it's very nice to have a very quick drive to the resort. Um, so in terms of pros, let's start with the good stuff. Obviously it's beautiful. Like off the bat, the scenery is stunning. There's, as I mentioned before, there's so many like coves and gazebos and things you can walk out on. It's, there's mountains in the background. It, there's wildlife, there's fish, um, you know, there's jellyfish, be careful for those. But um, there's just so many different, um, very scenic places you can go on the resort to take some really great photos versus other places that we've been, because um, this was our seventh secrets resort that we've been to. Uh, we've been to four in Mexico and one in Punta Cana and then this one in Jamaica. So um, by far Jamaica is the most beautiful out of those three locations. So my opinion. Um, anyway, so scenery right off the bat was amazing. I would say the food is pretty good. The drinks are pretty good. Um, the bellmen, they were fantastic. They were very friendly. We had an issue with our room, as I had mentioned, and they were able to accommodate us with the next day. So that was, um, very nice that we were able to have, um, some quick accommodation in that sense. Um, in terms of the room, it was beautiful. I showed the room tour earlier in the video. Um, it was beautiful. We were in the preferred club. So I'll talk about that as well, um, which is an option. So there are a lot of reviews online that say it's not worth it to do the preferred club. Um, I think it depends upon the resort that you go to. This is the second time we've been to this resort or sorry, this is, well, that's true. But this is the second time we've done the preferred club. We did it when we went to Punta Cana. Um, a Secrets Punta Cana, but we also did it for this and I definitely think it was worth it. Um, it was just kind of nice to have like the extra little lounge um, that they have. So that was a nice perk. You do have to pay a little bit more. Um, I don't quote me on the cost, but I think it was like a good maybe $400, $500 extra um, and you get your own special check-in lounge. So you get more expedited check-in. You get the... Um, lounge with food and drinks and it's like full service like it's self-service but not like usually there's someone there but if no one's there you can kind of like serve yourself um coffee is always available uh food so if you don't want to wait in the breakfast line you can go to the lounge and you can get um a breakfast every day so we did that maybe one or two days and we didn't feel like walking over to the um to the full like breakfast buffet so it's definitely um, a plus in that sense. Also, you get a um, designated section of the beach. So you'll have a different color towel 
they have towel huts throughout the resort. So you'll have a different colored towel, which designates um, that you're preferred. So they, I have seen them monitor. We saw one day um, a security guard come over to someone that wasn't preferred and tell them to leave because you aren't supposed to be there if you didn't pay, obviously. So people with the orange towels are the non-preferred people so um so yeah so that was um nice the preferred club side and the preferred club pools so there's also pools that are only for preferred side um are much quieter than the non-preferred side so it depends what you're going for uh, my husband and i are not big partiers we like to relax um, so if you want to go and have some more like peace and quiet, um, the preferred club pools were barely filled. Um, and as you know, it's this um, vacation we took over Labor Day, so in September. So um, it is hurricane season. It might not be as popular of a time to go. However, we always go in September because our anniversary is in that month. Um, and I just find that it is a little quieter, um, but in terms of the preferred club, um, side. So the pools were, you could find a chair easily. The beaches, um, I'll talk about that in more of a con, the beaches, but usually you could find a chair. Um, it was best if you went out a little bit earlier to get a chair. Um, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So, um, so I would say in terms of the room, it was beautiful. You get the shower. Um, the separate like toilet shower with the, that rain shower. There's a, if you do the preferred club, you can have the soaking, opt for the soaking tub. We had the master suite. So, um, or the, I think it was called the like king, king bed master ocean view. Um, just a note when you go to book is that if it says ocean view, that basically means any part of the ocean may be able to be seen. It should be able to be seen from your room. So, you might not have like don't expect like you to open the curtain and have like the whole ocean there unless you're like on the top floor so just a note with that so again i'm not saying that's a con i'm just saying to just be aware that you you will have some we've had we usually opt for the ocean view and any resort we go to and sometimes you see like this much of the ocean and they're like it's ocean view you can see the ocean so just like something to keep in mind um, as I noted before, we were moved to the fourth floor, so we had like a full beautiful view of the um, resort, the preferred pools, and the beach, so that was nice. Um, so when you check in, something that I have never done but now know to do is always try to ask if you can be on a higher floor because then they can try to accommodate you and check in. So um, that was something that I think is important to note if you do choose to go to one of these resorts. So, okay, um, so other things to note, um, I have a list here because it was quite a bit. So other pros, um, snorkeling, not going to talk too much about that, but it was great there. Like I said earlier, there's lots of fish, lots of little Nemo's. Um, so that was really nice to, um, be able to do is like you, we went to the gift shop and bought a snorkel. I'm pretty sure they don't provide snorkels. They do have water sports available. Um, but I don't think they have snorkels. So it was $40 for a snorkel. If you want to buy that, I do recommend that you order something on Amazon and then just bring it with you. Um, if you do, if you're really into snorkeling, but near like some of the rocky like coves were a lot of fish. Um, and there are jellyfish too. Just note that. Um, so yeah, so it's cool. If you want to snorkel, they've got that. Um, water this is just quick it was so warm like most of the days my husband and i just sat in the water and just soaked up the beautiful sun from the water because it's just gorgeous um so um it's it's one of those places if you are a big beach ocean like water person it's the place to go versus like the mexico or the punta cana when there's a lot of seaweed and there's waves and you can't really just like sit in the water so this is like bath water there's no waves because you know the way the island is like you don't get those like big crashing waves so that's personally my favorite kind of water so another big plus um another thing is like we showed this in the video but there are um the resort next door which is called breathless has this beautiful and you'll read reviews about this beautiful rooftop spot for dinner and it 
was amazing. Like the food's good, but the views, you just see the entire like Montego Bay. I mean, you have like all the mountains, the lights, and we wish we would have gone up there during the day because they have a pool up there, a hot tub up there, a whole beautiful bar, lots of, lots of like lounge chairs and things. Um, so definitely have to like check that out. We ate there twice. Um, so you have to go up, you just go. And, and again, the only thing is that you have to be a preferred club member to be able, not member, but you have to purchase the preferred club option if you want to have access to the breathless resort. So when you're preferred club, that's the big benefit is you have access to the entire resort, like all the different, um, resorts there, the three that I mentioned, the wild orchid, the St. James, and then the, um, the breathless. So we went to breathless quite a bit. Um, I thought it was really nice. I showed a lot of breathless actually more than I did at the St. James in this video. Um, and I tried to label it so you'd know what it is, but I definitely recommend, um, the prefer preferred club because if you don't, then you can't go to the rooftop unless you choose to just stay with at breathless because then you can obviously use it. So that's another, um, pro. Um, other things that just like were nice, I think, were they have like, um, you probably saw in the video, we had like coconuts. They have a coconut man, we say, and he just like has a cart and he just wheels it around and he'll just like chop the coconuts and then you can like go put alcohol in it. And that's awesome. So, um, just kind of like a fun Jamaican thing. We've at every Jamaica, cause we've actually been to a sandals Jamaica as well. And they did that, the, um, the coconut guy. So that's cool. And the last thing is the jerk chicken. They have this jerk chicken cart that goes around and it's so good. It's like fried crispy chicken. And if you're into that, like, and oh, it's so good, you'll love it. And they have um, a sauce if you're into spice. I'm not, my husband is, they'll put like a spicy sauce on it for you. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, so I think that sums up my pros. Obviously like the resort is gorgeous. The main thing is the scenery. Um, so now on to the cons. Okay. So now for the cons. Um, and these are in no particular order. Um, these are just things that I experienced this time around. And again, we've been to seven secrets resorts and I've never had these experiences before. So this was actually really disappointing. Um, I don't want it to discourage people from going, but I also want it to be my honest feedback <laughs> of uh, things that you should be aware of. So, um, room service. And this honestly is the case for most of these, these secrets resorts. It was extremely slow. Like one night we ordered it and we are room service people. Like we, we go out to dinner and we also order room service. So like we order the room service as an appetizer before we go to dinner. And then we get back when we've had a couple of drinks, we will order more room service. So what I recommend you do if you're that person is order room service before you go to dinner because by the time you get back from dinner, the room service will be there. Cause I just think, and again, as I mentioned before, I think they were very, very overwhelmed. I think that they were very, um, just, I think they were short staff. Like everyone is right now. Like it's just the short staffing thing is, is literally worldwide. It seems. Um, so just note that that is like, if you want room service, you need to just order it way in advance. Um, it could take like one night, usually it took like an hour and a half, but like one night <laughs> we ordered it and we got it at like, they knocked on the door. We were both asleep at like 1230 in the morning and we ordered it at like 10 and we didn't get it because we were asleep. And then I heard them come by at 830 in the morning and they, cause so at secrets, you have a secrets box. Okay. So they, which is amazing. That's a plus. They will put your food in the box and then you have a little door inside your room so you can open the door and take the food out so you do not have to answer the door and let anybody into your room ever. So when you open that box, like you can just take it in the room, right? So they put it in the secrets box and then I heard at 8.30 in the morning, we were still asleep, like in bed, they cleaned it out. Like we didn't even get to eat it, which we weren't gonna eat it at that point anyway, but it was just like, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like they, we, it was like fresh food that we never got to eat. So that was annoying. So definitely a con. Um, also note, if you do choose the preferred club side, note this, cause this was like really annoying. We had to walk so far to get to like all of the restaurants there on the wild orchid side. So the way the Island is, it goes wild orchid, then it goes St. James, 
than breathless. So where wild orchid is, that's where like the rounded part of that island is, right? Okay, like the peninsula, if you will. No, it's not, but you know what? That doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? The rounded end part, that is where all the restaurants are. So if you go there you and you're at the St. James side, it just, it's a good, like it takes a good 15 minutes to walk down to those restaurants, which is just annoying. Like that's just annoying. I mean, we definitely got our steps in, which is great, but that's why we went to Breathless. So if you're at St. James and you're staying in Preferred Club, to get to Breathless, it's like right next door. It's literally, boop, you're there versus the 15 minute walk. So just note that. Um, other things, um, I mentioned this earlier, I felt like this was the worst service I ever had in terms of the beach service. So it's very well known at Secrets that when you go, you get served on the beach. Like you get these, like, just like someone's right there asking you what you want to drink. It was not the case. Like we barely got any service on the beach and we moved to different spots and the service sucked. Like sometimes they'd come by, sometimes they wouldn't. So that was like a huge con that really sucked. Like boo secrets, like really disappointed in you guys for that. Because every other resort that we've had, they're literally like you drink a, a drink and they're like right there, like can I get you something else? So, and we tip, that's something to note is like, I think you should bring tips. We bring like 55 bucks and we just do ones. We're not $5 people. Like, you know, we just do like a one here and there, but I mean, we've never had a problem with that. And people, um, yeah, pe people were just like really, really slow and it was like super annoying or they just didn't show up. So that was a huge con. The other con I would say, um, is just like the freaking people that were on the beach. There were so many loud, noisy people on the beach, like obnoxious humans. And like th something that bothers me significantly is people that come to beaches, and I'm sorry if this is you, but I'm just gonna be honest. People that come to beaches and bring like speakers. I'm sorry, but like, can you be any ruder? Like. I want to walk up to each person and be like, here's a pair of headphones, learn how to use it. I'm sorry, I'm being sassy, but it's so freaking rude to come to a five-star resort and put your speaker box on and like blast your music that no one else wants to hear. It's just so disrespectful. Like I can't think of anything more. I mean, there's many things that are disrespectful, but that's one of the top ones for me. Again, it's a pet peeve of mine, but I really, really, really hate that. <laughs> Um, so just note that if you decide to go, especially if you go during a holiday, like we went on Labor Day, like it was like, I guess the thing is, is like secrets can't control when people are doing that. But the thing is, is they could regulate it and they weren't. So there were so many times I was going to go and ask the front desk and be like, Hey, like, do you have a noise policy? Because we did see a sign at the hot tub that said no speaker boxes. So there wasn't anything at the beach, but I would think the same if it's at the jacuzzi tub that it would be like at the, on the beach. So that was just really, really annoying. Um, so just keep that in mind that like you might, it depends. A lot of people, my husband is like the most patient human. We are exact opposites. Like I am very easily bothered by people. And so I was like, this is friggin' annoying. Um, so it just depends on what kind of person you are. So again, secrets. I wish that you guys would have regulated that and told people to either turn your music down or turn it off and get a freaking pair of headphones okay my next one is just i talked about the bad service but i also to go along with that is just the non-friendly people service wise um i have never experienced this and i don't know what it was but and it was mainly the women not the men that were there that were un very unfriendly like people that looked very bothered you didn't get a smile like just people that were just not like just they just looked like they did not want to be there and that is like here's the thing call me what you want but I personally believe if I'm going to spend a lot it's not like a two thousand dollar vacation it's if you're looking into it you know how expensive it is like these are expensive five-star resorts so if I'm going to spend that much money I expect <laughs> it's just me like call me crazy my standards are up here and I expect to be treated like as such. And I'm not trying to be like, and the thing is if I spent $2,000, I'd be like, whatever, I'm gonna get crap service. But if I spend that kind of money, I better get that kind of service. And I just feel like you just didn't. Like people were like, like the staff, just some of them just seems like super irritated to be there and just like unhappy and like, 
yeah. And then the first day, which I didn't experience this, uh, I think only just the one time, because I think, because I mentioned that Labor Day, like, don't go on a holiday. That's what I recommend. Just don't go on a holiday. But um, I think that they were very short staffed and I had to wait like 15 minutes to get acknowledged to get a drink. And then when I did, they were very nice. The guy was very nice, but I've never had to wait. And that was like, just, I was about to walk away and I have patience. Like I have patience to a certain point, but I'm like, this is crazy. Like, and then there were people running drinks to the beach, like some of the staff and they just would like walk right by you. Like they weren't even boop, like paying attention. Like it just, yeah. Um, one day we ordered a bottle of champagne and we never got it. And then like, she came back later and was like, Oh, I forgot. And then, Oh, I want to let you know we're out of it. Like that was another thing. They were out of so much stuff. Like we'd go to a bar and like, we'd be like, can we get a rum punch? And they're like, Oh, we don't have such and such ingredient. Like that happened multiple times throughout the week. And again, I think that what they did, cause we had gone to this resort before, I think they expanded the resort, but they did not like expand that like they added more rooms but they did not add more staff so they booked out more than they could fulfill if that makes sense like they like they like the breakfast line the first day was ridiculous we've never had to wait for breakfast ever and we had to wait in this huge buffet line and that's ne that never happens so you usually go to breakfast and you get seated right away um again that only happened one time and the next day I was like I'm not waiting so we went to the um preferred club again benefit of preferred club preferred club lounge to eat um and then the next day we went to the breathless breakfast which was amazing like the service was so much better over there um they were so nice and there were barely any people in there and we go to breakfast around like 10 usually 9 30 to 10 um so yeah so it gives you an idea of the breakfast situation and just like the waiting and everything um so definitely a huge con um, so other things I'll say, um, is that just in general with the beach, the beach is very narrow. So just, I think this was one of the problems with having so much like of that noise that was bothering me is the beaches are like this wide. Cause we're pretty sure it's a man-made beach. It's not a natural beach. So, and you, it's just like the, the Bay area there. So you don't get these, like, like when we go to Mexico, Punta Cana, the beaches are so wide. They're huge. You can really spread out from people here. You're like on top of, like, if you sit down, you're going to be right next to somebody. So just note that if you're not that kind of person and you don't care and you're just like, whatever, I will love people. And I want to sit next to someone I don't know. And like right next to them and hear their conversation, then like, this is a good resort. But I will say I probably won't go back because of these cons, because I am just like a relaxer. I don't like to be bothered. I just want to have peace. I want to be kind constantly serve drinks and I just felt like that wasn't the case at this resort um so that was a big con another thing is that at all these resorts they always have like nice chairs and umbrellas like built into the sand and the chairs are supposed to have like pads on them and 50% of them had pads and 50% didn't so we were able to like pull pads from other chairs and people like left and like we moved the pads onto the chairs um, but if you don't get a pad, like you're sitting on like this wicker chair and it's very uncomfortable. So just another thing to note is that was like annoying that like get enough pads for the chair. We don't pay you enough, like to come to these resorts. You can't get enough pads. I don't know. Call me crazy, whatever. Um, and then I actually think that that's about it. Um, just looking at my list, but yeah, so that is my review of Secrets St. James slash Wild Orchid slash Breathless, um, since we did have access to all of them. Um, oh, another thing I'll say is the coffee shop. We love the coffee shop. The lady there, I don't know her name. She was fantastic. She had the most patience in the world I'd ever seen. There were like really annoying people in front of us and she was just so patient and amazing. Um, and she is just, she was just so sweet. I love people like that. So shout out to her um and that coffee if you're a big coffee person it's 24 hours i've never had a secrets resort that's been 24 hours for the cafe cafe is called coco cafe it's always called coco cafe for all the secrets you go to um so yeah gotta check that out and then they had like this snack area from like 11 to 2 where the jerk chicken cart would come and they he'd serve jerk chicken and burgers and stuff that was like a nice added touch um, also there's kitties on the resort. I'm a huge cat person. I have a cat myself. Um, just note there are cats and, um, they're not very friendly. We've been to resorts with cats before and they are friendly and these cats just like want to be fed. So, um, we're those people that like go to the like coffee shop to get a sandwich and we feed the cats. So 
feed the cats, do good things for animals. So yeah, that's all. That's my review. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it helps you make a decision um, if you want to go to this resort or not. Um, if you have questions, you can leave a comment in the description box or not in the description box, in the, um, in the comment section and I will um, respond and let you know. Um, but yeah, because we've been to so many secret resorts, we have a lot of knowledge and experience about a ton of them. So if you're interested in going to another one, you have questions, just let me know because we've been to seven. So, and we've been to one sandals. So, um, anyway, that's all. I'm going to close this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and have an amazing rest of your night or day or afternoon, whatever time you watch this.